Welcome back. This is the fifth in a series of tutorials on Inspiration 8, the concept mapping software. In this tutorial we're going to take a more advanced look at links and connectors and see some of the options that we have with those. So for example, let's just click on a connector here and we'll see that when we do we get a text box on that connector. So for example, we could explain something about that connection by typing on or in that connector box. Now if the connector box isn't quite where we want it, we simply click on it, we grab this black dot and we can move it along the connector. Let's take a look at our pizza bubble here. Now, the difficulty with pizza is which category does it actually belong to? We could have meat and cheese on it, so we could say pizza belongs with the meat and meat alternatives group. Whoop, lost my connection there. Let's try that again. I always have to wait till you see those highlights come up on the target box. I'm going to drag pizza down here. So it's connected to meat and meat alternatives, but we could also have vegetables on our pizza, things like peppers and so on. So we could drag a connector from vegetables and fruits over to pizza. But now here's a problem. In terms of organization, it's always a poor idea to have our connectors overlapping or anything overlapping for that matter. So this becomes very confusing when we have things crisscrossing like this. So we need to do something so that we can represent this connector without disrupting our diagram. And to do that, we would go down here to this little button and we would pick one of these. Now, I'll just go over each of them quickly. Single curve is probably the simplest. With single curve, we get a handle, this little white dot here, that we can grab to manipulate that curve. And now we have a connector that flows from one to the other without crossing anything. The other options are double curve. Double curve, if you've worked in a drawing program, is a Bezier curve with the usual handles that go along with that. We have two handles now, which gives us more control over the shape of the curve, but it is a little more complicated to work with. Dragging this handle out extends that curve in that way. And we can also adjust it. So we can adjust the angle that the curve departs, and we can adjust our length of our handle as well. Nope, that got away on me. So that's double curve. And our final option is a right angle. And in this case, we're given handles like so that we can adjust. Once again, it's a little less flexible, but some people might prefer that as a neater alternative to the other. So that's the way we can have multiple connectors connected to pizza. So for example, pizza also has bread or grain products. I'm just going to hold down the control key and zoom out here a little bit. So we can drag a connector from grain products down to pizza. Again, pick the type of connector that we want and manipulate that connector so that that arrow avoids all the other boxes and connectors. In certain other instances we may have a need for a connector that has more than one arrow on it. For example, if we were dealing with a novel and we were talking about relationships between characters, if characters are friends then a single-headed arrow doesn't really properly represent the, that relationship. Uh, 
So with that, we can either click on this button down here, in which case we could get arrows going both directions. Notice that we could have reversed the arrow direction as well, or we could have no arrows. In this case, though, we want to go back to our original. That was what we wanted. We can perform many of the same functions we just did with the use of right-clicking. So if we were to right-click on this arrow, for example, we could change arrow direction in that fashion, and you see that we have all the same choices as we did under the button on the toolbar. We can also change the type here, just as we did again from the button of the toolbar. But this one has the added function that we could also change the style of arrowhead if we wanted that kind of control. So anything we can do from the button toolbar, we can usually do by right-clicking. The other thing we can do with our connectors is we can also adjust the thickness of them so that if they're looking a little too thin or if there's some particular connection that you wanted to emphasize, this button down here is really two buttons. Clicking on the downward facing triangle makes our connector thinner and clicking on the upward facing triangle makes it thicker. One thing we should point out here is just how multiple connectors behave as it applies to outline mode. So our pizza bubble here, for example, is connected to meat and meat alternatives, grain products, and vegetables and fruit as far as our diagram is concerned. However, if we go to outline mode, we see pizza here under grain products, but we don't see it underneath meat and meat alternatives and we don't see it under vegetables and fruit. So while in our diagram mode we can have multiple connectors, in outline mode only one of those connectors will be recognized. So if we decided that we wanted pizza under meat and meat alternatives we would simply move it down there and it would appear there in our outline. And that's basically some added information on controlling or manipulating links or connectors.